Welcome back to TechSpace guys, in this video what we're going to go over are the launch options that you're going to want to use for Counter-Strike. These are the best launch options that you can use for the best performance. So follow this tutorial and if you have any questions during this tutorial put it in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer as many of the questions as possible. Also what you're going to want to do is load up Steam, go to Library, go to Games, go to your Counter-Strike game, and you're going to right click it, click properties. From here, all you're going to want to do is click set launch options. And we'll go over these launch options here now. I'll go ahead and quickly explain really quick. Alright, so these commands, I'll explain one by one. And I'll leave a link to all this in the description. So I know you guys probably can't read it that well. So what I'll do is I'll blow it up on the screen here, actually. Alright, so the first command is dash no joy, and that basically means there's no joystick in the game or on the uh, that you're going to be using for that game. And it takes out all of the settings for that and again makes it run faster because of that. The next one is dash high, which sets the game to high priority. Then we have dash full screen, which tells it to load full screen when we start it. Then we have dash tick rate 128 that keeps all of the servers at 128 tick servers, which are the the highest um, the highest tick rate servers that are available right now. Then we have dash novid, which takes out the introduction video when you start up the game. Then we have no 3dx, which takes out the 3d settings. We have dash lv, which stands for low violence. It takes out all of the uh, you know, extra gore and stuff like that, the way it allows for the graphics to, I mean, the graphics card to not be processing so much, and it allows for the game to run smoother. And then again, if you've never seen these before, it's probably a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's really not as complicated as it seems. Now next we have Plus Matte Q Mode 2. This just makes uh, the graphics run a lot better as well. Um, not just I'm not sure specifically what it does, but I know it makes the graphics uh, the graphics card not have as much stress on it. Um, next, we have no border, which again, if launching in full screen, you're not going to have a border around the window, and so we have that in there. Then we have plus CL force preload one, which loads all of the maps and data for the game before you get into the game. That way, it's already preset and it's already you know waiting for you to launch into a map or or into a certain game mode and that way there's again less stress on the uh, PC while it's uh, loading up different things. Next threads 4 it's the last thing before we have plus auto or our auto config command um, so dash threads space 4 and that basically means that we have four uh, processors in our CPU. So, I mean, not four processors, four cores on our CPU, sorry. So, if you don't know how many cores you have, don't put this in. Um, a good, easy way to check how many cores you have is to go to Start, type in Config. You'll get System Configuration at the top. Click on that. Then you're just going to want to go over to, let's see here, Services, or Boot, sorry. Go to the Boot tab. Go to advanced options right here and then go to number of processors here at the top tick the box and then click this drop down menu and the highest number right here would be the number of cores that you have on your processor so leave that there leave pci lock on untick maximum memory over here make sure all this is the same then click ok apply all right so we're all done now you can go ahead and uh, close every window that's up um, and go ahead and start Counter-Strike and let me know what you guys' results are. I'd like to know what your uh, FPS was before and what it is now. Um, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, if it's not working for you, um, if you have any type of question, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to help you. I respond to almost every single question that I get. Um, faithfully. So if you guys again have any questions you can message me, message me on social media or put it in the comment section below. Other than that make sure you guys hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos and I will see you guys next time.